Hello everyone, um, in this video we're going to focus on uh, angles, okay? So we will be talking what is an angle um, and what kinds of angles we have and we, where we can find the angles, okay? And as you can see, you can find angles everywhere, okay? And um, in this photo you have a Titanic Museum in Belfast. So let's look at this photo and let's try to find few angles, okay? So in here, this is... 90 degrees angle and you should know it from a uh, primary school. This is a uh, right angle and then here as well Okay mm, We can find another angle in here. It's more than 90 degrees um, Then we have another one in here. This is probably less than 90 for sure and in here less than 90, okay? And in here, really small one as well. Okay, so you can spot lots of lots of different angles. This is more than 90 degrees. Okay, and this is another one in here. Uh, and another one in here. So uh, if you look at different buildings, you can spot lots of lots of angles. So let's start. So what is actually an angle, okay? So you can say, Oh, this is an angle, but is it true? Okay, so first of all, we have this point in here, and this point is a vertex, so it's called a vertex. Let's say it's B, and this is the point um, where two rays meet, okay? So we have one ray in here, it's not a line segment, we cannot measure it, it's a ray. Uh, so it goes and goes and goes this way. And we have another ray in here, okay? And it also goes and goes and goes. So we have two rays, and they meet in one point, in, uh, let's say in B point. And also we can uh, say this is one arm of the angle and this is the second arm of the angle, but it's not uh, enough yet. And for every angle there is a piece of the plane called uh, the inside of the angle, okay? So um, we can mark this as an angle, okay? So there is um, one arm, another arm, there is vertex and there is a piece of plane inside them or you can mark it here. So it's really, really important that you mark uh, the angle. Let's say we put it in here, okay? And we can use... Um, this, this little line to mark it. If you don't mark it, you won't get any marks because um, that won't be an angle, okay? So you need to make sure you put this little line. Uh, as I said, we can mark the older um, piece of the plane and it's also an angle, okay? If you just write down or draw uh, two rays and a vertex, it's not an angle, it's just two rays and the vertex, okay? You need to bear in mind that the angle is a piece of the plane and we can measure it, okay? If you don't mark the angle, as I didn't do it in here, you cannot measure it and it's not uh, an angle, okay? So we know what uh, an angle is. Now, how to, um, how can we name the angle, okay? And there are a few ways to name the angles, okay? So uh, look at the photos, so uh, look at the first one. We need to mark it and we need to um, give the name for this angle. So let's say we have this angle. And first of all, we can name it as ang uh, angle B. And this is the symbol. Okay, so this is B angle. Mm, and you will see it really often. The next is when we have three letters. So let's say it's x, y and z and of course you need to mark which one is it so we can name it as x, y, z angle and y, the middle uh, letter is always the vertex, okay? but we also can say it's the angle z, y, x so the order doesn't uh, matter, okay? so you can name it X, Y, Z or Z, 
y x but y is always in the middle this point is always in the middle okay um, and this is a little symbol for uh, an angle and the last thing and you won't see it often but you need to know um, what does it mean we can use Greek letters so let's say it might be alpha or it might be beta or gamma or delta okay and there are lots of um, Greek letters and you can see them in my classroom so we can write down that's alpha angle okay okay so let's try the types of uh, angles so the first one is let's draw it okay so we have vertex in here and then we have one arm and the other arm and the other arm is exactly on the first line so um, this is uh, an angle with zero degrees okay this is a null angle and the arms coincide with one another okay so you need to make sure you know how to draw it and we don't need to mark anything in here okay and the next one is when the angle is uh, bigger than zero and less than 90 degrees how does it look like so it might be something like this and remember we need to mark where the angle is okay so this is the angle we're looking for and this is an acute angle okay less than 90 degrees but more than zero okay the next one is when we have exactly 90 degrees and then we mark it like this okay and this is a right angle the next angle let's say it's greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 and this is an obtuse angle okay so you need to remember obtuse angle is between 90 and 180 okay if that's 90 we have a right angle if we um, have 180 this is 180 and this is a straight angle okay it's like a line so we have straight angle here exactly 180 degrees what if the angle is um, greater than 180? So let's say we have it in here. So greater than 180 degrees, but less than the full circle, what is 360. And this is the reflex angle. Okay, so uh, let's make it smaller a little bit because I have two more angles to introduce you. So the next one, what if we have 360? This is the full circle, so we can draw it in here. And we need to mark it like this, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between the null angle and uh, the full circle, full angle. In here, we have two arms, but we don't have any angle. In here, we have two arms, one on each other. And we have the full circle, so we need to mark full circle. And this is the full angle, 360 degrees okay um, and then the last keyword in here it's uh, our ordinary angle and this is every single angle less than 180 so we can say that um, obtuse angle acute angle right angle new angle all of them are always and also ordinary angle so make sure you know all the keywords, you, you will know how to draw it, how to mark it, and how many degrees uh, do they have. Okay guys, so uh, after this video you should be able to tell me what is um, an angle, okay? So we need to know, uh, we have a vertex, we have two rays, they meet in one point, and this is the vertex, and we also have a, a piece of the plane between them then angle notation so how can we um, notate the angles so we can use the greek letters or we can use capital letters uh, 
three capital letters or just one capital letter. And the last thing is all the types of angles, okay? So make sure um, you are really, really good prepared for tomorrow and you have really good notes. And <clears throat> for the learning check, I ask you to draw um, three different acute angles, okay? So you need to know uh, how many degrees do they have. So they less than 90 and you can pick N of three. They might be very, very small or they might be nearly 90 degrees, okay? So different t three acute angles, different uh, three obtuse angles um, and and different three uh, reflex angles. Okay, so see you tomorrow.